What's up everyone? This is the Wolfman and I hope y'all are doing well. And today is just gonna be a special video. I've hinted at in my last video when I was talk talking about the ice that we had just endured and I am rather excited for what I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second but first off if you're new here feel free to hit the subscribe button down below for more con for more random content including pending Lego reviews yeah, hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button come join the pack and without further ado I'm gonna sh I shall show you what I've have pretty much got set up this is basically what I got set up another 10 gallon aquarium now in the past in this era I used to have my TV but it is over here now and minus what's on and I, got, I put Claire's tank over here and she's in here somewhere. There she is. There's my little Claire. But what I got set up here is Malvo's tank right next to Zoloran's. They, so far they haven't really seen each other so they're not really flaring. But I got another tank, a rather old one from 1996 and I set this one up. If you notice the divider, I'm going to be putting a couple of female betas in here. I was tend to go for something larger like say a king beta they're rather large in size but I decided to go for a pair of females and if they can get along I'll remove the divide but that's just one part of this video I mean if I mean I also had the stand built and my dad helped me out a bit he paid for the center box he, and the wood was in his inventory out in the yard but what I really am going to be super stoked to show you is this your eyes do not deceive you this is a large aquarium this is a 36 gallon tank I'm gonna be putting some fish in here later on today or later on later on in the video it's got a sponge filter and a heater and there are, and for a change of things I actually got some sand and actually this tank has got sand in it black sand which I think is really cool it's a neat touch I never done it before actually kind of goes along with the Black Gravel Melville's tank, but anyways, this tank is going to be filled with goldfish, what kind, and a, at least two different species of goldfish, one would be the fancy tail, the other one, I really don't know what I'm going to put into it yet, but yeah, this is part of this, this is part of the big surprise, I mean, there used, there, there used to be a desk here, and Claire's tank used to be on it, but isn't anymore, as you can obviously tell. Yeah, this is pretty much the big surprise, and I'm basically going to be putting fish in three, two, boom! This is the new addition to the aquarium. I put a stand, a, not a stand, I'm sorry, I put a background in here. And here is one of the, the fancy goldfish. And I do believe that this one could possibly be a female. There are a few differences in telling in telling the genders, and I'm really gonna I'm not really gonna say exactly what that is, but this is just one of them. And these are the other two. So two fancy goldfish and a black moor, I believe this the other one is. So yeah, just three goldfish in thirty-six. But these aren't the only ones that I got. Over here in the other 10 gallon, notice that the divider is gone. And that's because apparently this little white female here is a little bit on the aggressive side. I did get another one. I had to take her back. I'm sorry for the glare or the blurriness. But yeah, this is the other female. My gosh, that just sucks. Yeah, this is the other female I have named Hamari. Hamari is um, another name I got from, took from my book. But yeah, this is yeah. She kind of has the whole ten gallon here to herself, but she actually won't be for long because given the fact that it's one tiny new female versus my already existing female Claire, so I'm actually gonna switch tanks with them. Well, I can get a better focus in on that. There we go. There's my Claire. And she's not going to be in here for very long. She's actually going to be in the other tank. In the 10 gallon. And the other one, Hamari, she's going to be in this one. It's kind of... 
I mean, I think I pretty much should do so anyways, because I've had her since September. No, October. Yeah, this is, yeah, part of the big surprise. But, I actually got another surprise. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for the glare. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing this on my phone. But yeah, then... Yeah, these are just going to be the first three fish I'll eventually put a plank up, but there's actually another surprise that I'm going to do in three, two... Boom! Two new little black moors. <laughs> so this is basically the whole king caboodle. Five goldfish, two black moors and three black moors and two... Fancy goldfish. <laughs> this is gonna be it for the next few months till I'll eventually put in a pleco. I'll eventually give you guys an update on each on you know, each of the fish, including the new one. She's definitely gonna be going into Claire's tank, little Hamari. So that was basically yeah, the full surprise that I've got that basically I've done that for this whole week and I'm gonna be honest, this whole layout has been this whole process has gone through at least gone through almost the whole week. Starting Tuesday I went and got the 36 gallon tank, filled it up within 24 hours, I put the first three fish. Then Thursday, yesterday as of recording this. So I got the back, I got the background, and took back the the extra beta, and today I got the extra two black moors. So, yeah, this is basically it, the full, just the full tank and and all that. So, yeah, I'm taking a break from getting more fish, including more betas, until maybe one of them goes, most likely. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe and come join the Wolf Pack. And leave a like and a comment. And I'll finish off with saying, telling you to remember that Jesus loves you more than Elmo and Barney. And I'll see you next time.